Hey guys, welcome to Fit and Fun. I'm Missy Kane. So glad you're tuning into the show. We're going to do a different type of show today. Working on core, balance, strength, and doing some fun things. That's what Fit and Fun is all about, right? So I've got Simon here. Simon, tell everybody who you are, what you do. Hi, my name's Simon Bradbury. I'm the Recreation Director for Teleco Village in Loudoun, Tennessee. Yeah. And I also teach paddleboard yoga through River Sports over at Iams and at the Cove. That's so cool. Um, and I knew Simon a long time ago. Um, you were in Pigeon Forge, and yeah. then we did a little thing, some stuff together with Legacy Parks, correct? Yeah, and with uh, Court South. Yeah, before that. long time ago. <laughs> uh, I was out there with Simon not too long ago at Teleco, and before it's changed um, a lot, a lot going on at Teleco, including water sports, of course, with the lake, but hiking too, right? Yes, absolutely. That's a big thing is walkability. Being right. able to get out and walk and hike without having to travel too far. And uh, if you notice, Simon's on the uh, the paddleboard, and we're going to explain that. But you guys can follow along with me. We've got a few pictures that Simon sent in, some things he likes to do, his family and all that. Um, you've been a little, little, a little rock, yoga pose. A little rock yoga. That's, a, that's a Ozone Falls down there. Oh, one yeah. of my favorite spots to go to, Ozone Falls. Crossville, Tennessee. Hey, to all my Crossville folks that um, live out there, watch Fit and Fun. Beautiful waterfall. Oh, I love that. Crab Orchard exit. And we're, this uh, Meets Quarry, right? Yeah. I recognize that. That's Meets Quarry doing a paddleboard yoga class. Is <laughs> everybody doing a pose? Yes. Nice, so, clear water. Some of the hikers uh, were, were. If you don't have any power boats going by, it's just. And, um, and you can rent there. You can't bring your own boat there. It's small. They want to keep it controlled and safe. So you can rent there, correct? From yes, River you can Sports. Rent, you can rent through River Sports uh -huh. or you can sign up for a class. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of fun clear water and there you are uh, yogi there's your yogi pose that's what i was teaching at um, little river yoga studio in townsend little uh, log cabin oh yeah yoga studio right and yoga is really good for everybody tai chi i always say mix it up so your folks at teleco they're hikers they're water people golfers but i think it's good to do range of motion and a little yoga right absolutely so that's what we're going to do today again uh we're showing you what you could do on a paddle board that's a little tougher but we can follow along with si Simon says we're going to do it. So take us through like what would be a normal class. And of course, this is going to be a little shorter on the fit and fun here. Okay. I'll follow you. Uh, first of all, when we do stuff, mm -hmm. you go a little past your comfort zone. Don't go into pain. Right. Body's way of saying, back off. This is a no pain, no gain kind of class. We're trying to make ourselves feel better and uh, make our bodies better. All right. So again, if something don't feel right, don't do it. And just because somebody else is doing it doesn't mean that you do. You can mm -hmm. go, oh, this doesn't work right for me and do something else. Good. Okay. I'll be there. Well, we're going to start by mm -hmm. just uh, standing up and doing some deep breathing. Okay. A little slight bend in the knees. Breathe in and take your arms up. Exhale down and out. In and up. Down and out. I'm going to take both middle fingers together and we're going to come on to your rib cage. We're going to do a little accordion breathing. We're going to take a really deep breath and the hands come apart. Fill up your lungs completely and then exhale it all out. Breathing the most important thing we do every day, we're gonna take a moment and just focus on it. Feel those lungs fill up. And exhale back out. I'm gonna come down onto the board, onto all fours. Okay. Yoga is something that everybody can do. We want to say hi to our young folks out there. What is it, AJ up that AJ way? AJ Lane, five-year-old AJ Lane. He's a big fan of this. He's so watches excited, every AJ. Morning. So glad you're tuning in. So. Join us, and uh, we're going to have a great show with your buddy Simon here. Simon says we're going to do it. <laughs> Alrighty, all fours. All right, now we're going to take the knees out a little bit wider. Maybe bring your big toes together. Slowly start sliding your hands forward. The forehead comes down, going into child's pose. It's an active stretch. And when you're stretching, you take a deep breath. Exhale, relax, and go a little further. Don't force it and don't bounce. And typically we'll hold poses, or I'll hold poses for about five, five breaths. Now we'll take your right hand over towards your right side. The left hand comes over towards your right side. Forehead comes down. We're gonna stretch out the left side of your shoulder and back. Deep breathing on the exhale, relax. Just go maybe a millimeter further. From here, we're gonna take your right hand forward. Left hand comes underneath your right armpit. We're gonna come down onto the shoulder and onto the forehead. In through your nose and out through your mouth. 
we'll go to the other side, stretching everything over towards the left side now. Getting the right side of your shoulder and back. I can feel it. Now we'll take your right hand, coming underneath your left armpit. Right shoulder comes down. Maybe the temple or forehead comes down and breathe. Now we'll come back to all fours. We're going to take a deep breath. Take your spine up one vertebrae at a time. And inhale it back down. Always keep a little micro bend in the knees and the elbows. Don't lock them out. So this is going to be harder for you on the water, correct? <laughs> well, the, uh, you got the added bonus of the bounce. Um, and at first, it's a little difficult. Your brain's going, what's going on here? But it does, just takes a minute or so to adjust. And that's actually a good segue into how we get up on the paddleboard. So you'll start on all fours. Mm -hmm. We go on to the toes. We're going to go in a downward facing dog from yoga. Okay. We slowly push the body back. Keep a micro bend in the knees and the elbows. Spread your fingers. Your belly button is in. Tailbone is up. This is downward facing dog. And uh, when we're paddle boarding, I recommend people to wobble yourself. And that lets your brain kind of adjust to what's going on. Mm -hmm. So while you have the water, you have the added addition of working all the different stabilizing muscles, trying to keep your body going. Now we go into plank pose. You can modify dropping one or both knees. If that's not working on your wrist, you can always go into your forearms. Bring that belly button in. Now we slowly come all the way down. Hands are by your shoulders. Arms are by the rib cage. Heels come together. We're going to slowly bring your upper body up. Shoulders squeezing together and going towards your back pockets. This is one of my favorite on my back. It bothers me once in a while, and physical therapists will have me do this a couple times a day. Right. And it really works. We'll slowly come down. Cobra, a little modified cobra. Now we'll go to hands come forward. If you're on your mat, they're going to the corners of your mat. I want to slowly bring the upper body up. Keep a micro bend in your elbows. It's another method of doing a cobra. This one's called baby seal. And from here, we're going to go back into child's pose, stretching the body the other direction. So we go back to all fours, and then we stretch down. In the paddleboard class, we do a mix of yoga and Pilates, so it's, it's a fusion class. Mm -hmm. And we'll go to all fours from here, onto the toes, into <coughs> downward facing dog. Micro bend in the knees and the elbows. Belly button is in, tailbone is up, head loose. And this is a really fun one on the paddleboard. It gets you wobbling a little bit. <laughs> but you take your right leg and come straight back. Bending your top knee, drive that knee up. Oh yeah, good quad, good quad stretch. Now we'll take that right knee and come up towards the sky. Now keep those elbows slightly bent. From here we're going to bring that knee, your right knee comes all the way up towards your chin. Body weight moves forward. Then from here we're going to drop your right foot down, the left knee comes down. Okay, so now we're up on our board. Now we're on the board, like we're surfing. Arms come up, slight back bend. Hips are forward, 90 degree angle with that right foot. From here, we take your right hand forward, left hand comes back, kind of keep your shoulders in line. The tendency is for that back hand to drop. I'm gonna try to keep it in line here, taking that left shoulder towards that other wall. From here, we're going to take your right hand and come down towards your inside of your right foot. And then we're going to start with the gaze down towards your right hand and slowly taking the gaze up towards your left hand, chest coming up towards the sky. This is where it gets a little exciting I on the board. I bet on the board, you said, <laughs> the, because you're taking your gaze away. Yep, and the balance starts going, Ooh. Yeah. Like uh, headstands are easier actually than these sort of things. Now we'll come back down to all fours, transitioning into downward facing dog again. We go onto the toes, into downward facing dog. Micro bend in the knees and the elbows. Belly button is in, tailbone up, spread the fingers. 
slight bend with the knee, take the left leg straight back. And if you start pushing down with your right foot, you'll really feel it in your calf as well. Uh -huh. Now we'll take your left knee, drive it up towards the sky or ceiling. Make sure and keep that micro bend in your elbows on the other knee. Now we take that left knee up sideways. And left knee comes in towards your chin. Body weight comes forward. Keep that slight bend in your elbows. Drop your left foot. Right knee comes down. We'll go to the other side. Arms come up into a slight back bend. Maybe even bringing the hands together. From here, we take your left hand forward, your right hand back, looking over the fingertips. Same deal with the hand, the right hand tends to go down. You want to bring it up and keep it level. How many people fall off per class? <laughs> I'd say about 20%. If you're working really hard, you'll get wet. And that's and the thing is, when you're on the board, your body, I, might, I still do this. I'm, I don't want to go in, I don't want to go in. And the worst thing that's going to happen, you get wet. And yeah. you get back on the board and it's kind of fun. Um, left hand comes down by the inside of the right foot. Gazes forward. And slowly take your gaze up towards your right hand. And that takes up the intensity of the class. You don't think about anything else, but I don't want to fall. <laughs> Again, the but worst you said thing it's so pretty. I'm sure it's so pretty in the morning. Oh, it's serene, particularly over at Iams when you got the uh, mist coming up off oh, the water. Yeah. That's great. All right, now we'll come and bring the hands down to the center, back to all fours, back into downward facing dog. From here, we go into plank pose, bringing elbows in, spread the fingers, and on the board, what I like to do too is we wobble. As we go on the board, that makes all your stabilizing muscles activate. Okay? From here we go into Chaturanga, where we come down hovering above the mat. If that's not working for you, go all the way down. If that's working for you, the next step, we go to the tops of feet, and we come into Upward Facing Dog. If that doesn't work for you, drop the knees. Whew. Now let's drop the knees, go into Child's Pose, stretching the spine the other direction. Let's go to the seated position now. From here, we're gonna do some Pilates. The boards are particularly awesome for Pilates because mm -hmm. it's the same type things you'll do in the, uh, on a mat class. Right. Um, and don't have so much stability issues. All right, so we're gonna lay back first. Okay. The hard part when the sun is out is like not falling asleep when you're just <laughs> <laughs> so nice out. The first thing is called scooping out your abs and that's a core movement from Pilates. And you're basically pulling your belly button in and pushing it down towards the mat. You can't really see that, but you have to feel it. It's like you're taking your belly button towards the, your back and into the, um, the mat. Your shoulders squeeze slightly, chin slight towards your chest, realigning the spine, and release. And we'll scoop out the abs again, pushing your back flat. Slight squeeze with the shoulders, chin slight towards your chest, and release. Now we're gonna add a few moves to this. We'll start and progressively get a little bit more difficult. We'll scoop out the abs. Take your left leg straight up, toes are pointed. It's like you have a piece of chalk in your toes. And we're gonna draw a circle on the ceiling. Do a giant circle all the way around. Keeping that belly button in, shoulders slightly squeezed. Chin slightly towards your chest. And chew gum at the same time. <laughs> and now we'll switch directions. All on the board, yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Now your heel comes up, and we'll bring your heel all the way down towards the ground. Point the toes, come all the way up as far as you can. Keep scooping out the abs, down, and up. Oh yeah, I could do this. Get flexors and. involved. And... Now let's bring it back down. Release your abs, knees are up. We'll take a moment and breathe, little fingers together onto your rib cage. Really deep breaths into your nose and out through your mouth. We're gonna scoop out the abs again. Slight squeeze with the shoulders. Chin slight towards your chest. Take your right leg straight up. Piece of chalk in the toes. Giant circle. Let's 
switching directions. Now we'll take the heel up. Heel comes all the way down to the mat. Point to toes, come all the way up as far as you can. So this kind of class would be really good for a lot of hikers. A lot of my buddies are hikers, but we don't do enough core strength and range of motion. And release. And since Missy, Missy just mentioned core strength, we're going to core. We'll do about six okay. or seven back to back. See if we can get things fired Alrighty. up a bit here. Uh, again, with any of these classes, you can always look up and go, this guy's nuts, I'm not doing that. <laughs> this is not working for me. <laughs> it's about making yourself better, not injuring yourself. There's a difference between pain from, I'm working out hard, and pain from, ow, I'm hurting something. So make sure you recognize that. That being said, let's take your left hand towards your right knee. Your right hand comes towards your right ankle. Your left leg extends. Now we're gonna come up on the shoulders, chin comes up. Your nose, belly button, and toes are all in line. Oh yeah, this is good. Just feel that tummy tighten. Now if it doesn't feel right on your neck, just lay your head back down. This is called single leg stretch. We're gonna pull and switch. It's slow and controlled. Kind of the old bicycle, little version. Yeah. Then from here, we're going to double. We grab both ankles, heels okay. are together. We extend both legs and both arms. And generally, you exhale on the push, you inhale on the pull. Keeping those abs scooped out. Now we'll go to single straight leg. Take your right leg straight up. Your left leg extends. Nose, belly button, and toes in line. Chin is coming uh, towards your chest. Grab above or below your knee, but don't grab behind your knee. We slowly pull and switch. Slow and controlled, focusing on the breathing. That's the whole mind-body connection there. Now put your heels together, making a V with your feet. Legs are squeezing. Hands come behind your head, elbows back. That's a Pilates stance. Now from here, we're gonna bring both legs down and both legs come up. I and guess we're gonna if go it's for too hard for some people, they can just go down a little bit. Yeah, you can modify, absolutely. I was gonna say, we'll do 265 of these. <laughs> okay, we'll see maybe. you next week on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just a few. <laughs> All right, arms and legs come up. Now we'll take your left leg down and your right hand down. And we'll switch and do the other side. Are you feeling your core going yet? Oh, yeah. All right, arms and legs are up. Flat back, chin slight towards your chest. Shoulder slight squeeze, belly button is in. Both arms and legs down and up. I guess you don't want a lot of sway back. You want your back pretty flat. Yeah, that's yeah, that's where you're activating your core a lot more, all the way around to your lower back. Now your hands come down. Scooped out abs. You should be really feeling a burn right about now. And we're gonna do a figure eight with the legs. Yeah, that's different. And then from here, we're gonna go to corkscrew. We're gonna come around to your right and switch directions and go to your left. feel this in my hips and let's drop it down and breathe slow everything down let the abs relax that all right that's good. Of, I could feel that in my feel a burn mm -hmm, afterwards all here in my hips all right, that's plenty of rest we'll rest again after class <laughs> <laughs> arms come up over your head elbows are by your ears belly button is in we're gonna roll up about halfway and back down. And when you come down, try not to come down the whole way. We're trying to keep your abs activated. And this is also good for not injuring your back while working your abs. From here, we go to the left side of your left knee and go to the right side of your right knee. And if somebody wants um, I'm on Facebook, Fit and Fun, with Ann Sign. You see Fit and Fun. And also, if you contact me, we have hiking, 
101 and some of these core stretches and different things are in the little booklet plus information about hiking clubs like the Teleco Hiking Club, the Muddy Boots. There's quite a few hiking groups out in Loudoun. Okay, let's release and breathe. Ooh, that was tough. Yeah, I was wondering if you're gonna go for a while. We'll be, <laughs> we'll be all ripped up. That's good. Let's see. I'm gonna look okay. up and see if they tell me. I think we've got about four minutes left. All right. All right. Let's go to uh, bridge. Come up slowly with the oh, lower body. Good. I like bridge. Chin slight towards your chest. Shoulders squeezing in and breathe. And we'll do some quick yoga moves from here. And we'll come down. Slowly come up to a seated position. And you also want to make sure you don't transition too quickly and right. let the blood on, rush on your, out. And on your boat. Yeah. <laughs> you might fall in. On your huh? board. All right. Let's go to all fours. Okay. Onto your toes. And we go into downward facing dog. The belly button is in. Tailbone is up. Fingers spread. Micro bending the knees and the elbows. We'll bend both knees. Take your left foot forward, your right foot comes back. This is the part where you come up slowly. And when you're on the water, we tend to wobble a little mm -hmm. bit, which is an extra bonus. Now you want to keep a 90 degree angle with your front knee. Your back foot, maybe a 45 degrees. And you pretend like you're uh, taking a blade of the each side of your foot on the front and the back or digging in. Okay. That helps you. Okay, your hips come forward, body weight comes straight down. Like there's a rope tied around your neck with a weight. Come straight down, 90 degrees, front knee, hips forward. Arms come up, slight back bend into a warrior one. And from here we transition to warrior two, taking your left hand forward, your right hand comes back, looking over the fingertips, hips come uh, forward now. Take your left hand, bring it up, your right hand comes back, slowly come up and over looking at the top hand. Oh, I bet this is tough on the board. This is where I usually spell it, splash it. <laughs> now we're gonna slowly transition down. Hands come down, downward facing dog. And we'll bend the knees. Take your right foot forward. Left foot comes back, slowly come up. That blade of your foot's digging in, front and back. Hips come forward. We slowly come down, body weight comes straight down, not forward or back, we come straight down, 90 degrees, that front knee, arms come up, slide back bend. We got a little bit around three minutes. Yeah. So your normal classes are a little longer than half hour, I'm sure. Yeah, it took, took me 45 minutes to an hour. You can get a great workout in uh -huh. 20 minutes if you do it right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right hand forward, left hand back, take that palm up, left hand comes back into reverse. Hopefully I won't fall into the concrete. It won't feel as good as the water. <laughs> now let's come back down to all fours on the toes and downward facing dog. Good class. I made it through it too. I just got a plug for health, taking care of our health. I got a shingles vaccination yesterday, my left arm. I'm the age where I can do that now. And it did not hurt. And um, I went over to Food City and got it done. But that's so important for us to get our vaccinations and our checkups but I made it through yoga without it hurting my left arm too so it wasn't any big deal. Now let's transition to a seated position. I'm going to cross the legs. You're not that age yet but around 60 you get your um, shingles vaccination. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks. <laughs> it did hurt. I am really. I keep I like to keep on being active until I'm in my 80s. But it's amazing out at Teleco people doing yoga, uh, paddleboard yoga they're out on the water they're doing pickleball very active people you Absolutely. would be surprised at some of the 70 year olds that help you build trails right the ma main gopher is uh is gary melliner and he's 73 i think he is and he wears me out right i can't keep up with him so. uh, and pickleball these guys there's a guy in the 80s beat the crap out of me playing pickleball. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's amazing so i appreciate you coming out here from teleco village and um but also you can find you at teleco village and also i am's and River Sports, and hopefully Concord. So, yeah. All right. We got about one minute left to I'll say goodbye. To, to all right, let's put the hands on the knees. Okay. Belly button comes in. Shoulders come back. We'll take your shoulders down towards your back pockets. Chin slight towards your chest. Just focus on breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. We'll 
We'll take a really deep breath in and our arms come up. Exhale down and out. In and up. Down and out. And we'll go one last time. In and up. Down and out. Good job. And we're finished. Thank Great you very job. much for having me. Great job for coming on. And you stayed on your boat the whole time. That's a good thing. That's kind of <laughs> unforgiving down there. See you <laughs> next time on Fit and Fun. Life is more fun when you're fit. Everything works, even like yoga.